Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Paul sold me this car. It's a piece of crap. I paid far too much for it. I've been paying for it ever since. And one of the problems I'm gonna to have to deal with is the fact that the paint is disappearing. It's uh, the clear coat is damaged, so what I want to do is see if I can fix it myself because I just can't afford to fix any more of the problems with this car. So I've gotten some directions online and I'm going to give it a shot. We'll see how. Okay, first step is to clean it. So I've got my microfiber sponge. And I'm going to clean this off really good. Okay, the next step is to tape off the area that we're going to clean, give it some extra room, so we'll do that, and then we have to sand it. Now, I'm using 1000 grit, they said 800, but we'll give it a go, probably just have to work a little harder and longer. clean this off as best as I can. I'm going to get some alcohol here in a little bit. Not for me, for the car. i make sure that it's perfectly clean. I've gotten some nice cleaning liquid, like uh, alcohol. And trying to get this all nice and clean so that there's no debris. Little microfiber cloth. When it's wet, it looks pretty good. When it's not wet, not so good. Just a reminder, Paul, you did this to me. Now we wait. These look like two completely different colors. So, first coat of clear coat is on and now I'm waiting for it to dry and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting still waiting still waiting all right this is going to be coat number two Okay, it's time to unmask this and see what sort of uh, damage I've done. You didn't see it, but I also did this other part over here, which really is quite a Now for the bucket and the sanding. Okay, and uh, I've got my sandpaper. It is 2000 grit. And I've got my bucket of water, just a little bit in there. And we're gonna see how much damage I've done. it's working but I am feeling that some of these lines are starting to come up I don't feel the uh, feel the lines underneath my fingers is starting to smooth out yeah, it's it's
try some of the 1,000 on some of the thicker parts that don't seem to be coming out. And then I'll go back and cover it with the 2,000. Okay, now I've got all of the masking taken off and you can see that this is all a, a little discolored. So the next step in this is polishing compound. Using this one, polishing compound to help take off some of this, I don't know if it's oxidation or just scratching, but I think it's just low level scratching. And so, Let's get on with it, see how she comes out. Slow little circles, little, little circles for a very long time. I've already been trying a little bit in the test spot over there. It looks like it's really helping a lot to do this, but it's not perfect at the end of the day. Okay, I'm trying to do a sun check. After I've been polishing, I can steal, see a lot of blemishes inside. Seeing if in the light, it actually looks better in the light than in the artificial light. 